Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and bandits, thugs, angles, daemons, sethrian, golems, elves, male dwarves, halflings, gobos, an assortment of farm animals, undead, and a whole lot of weird creatures. So, welcome to the LOTC report. No, dude, you're good. Shit, the light's on. Welcome back, folks. We have another of a lot of stuff to tell you today. Yep. Wait, what's this about again? Just read the script. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, let's first talk about the fact the druids finally renewed that disgusting soul sand forest in Lionel, with the help of the Golden Lance. Are you sure that even happened? I mean, it just kept getting postponed. Well, if it didn't happen, it's going to eventually, right? Sure. Anyway, there's some giant war going on between Orin versus the dwarves and orcs. Maybe Alras and the Conclave are involved? It's probably not that important. Yeah, you're probably right. Moving on. The Princedom of Fen is trying to remain neutral with all of the conflict going on. Do you think that's even possible? Uh, maybe. I mean, the Church and Orin seem to think otherwise. Wait, do you even know what the Princedom of Fen is? Of course, it's like a family of three Snelves or something. Uh, yeah, I think so. Anyway, some Flay got attacked by the Conclave, one by PvP. Awesome. Alright. Oh, that's enough roleplay news. Let's move on to the OOC bullcrap. Okay. Well, first on our agenda, we have Azalala, who's gonna tell us all about our new plugin. Do I have to listen? Hey there, everyone. Resident Coder Arzota here this week, and oh my, do we have some news for you. For a while since the last LOTC report, quite a few things have changed server state wise. To begin, we look to patch 3.9. Yes, you hear correctly, one-tenth of the way from 4.0, map and update. Anyway, 3.9 brings a whole lot of changes, the first, of course, being personas. As a transition to better ease into the profession system, and many other Nexus-esque things of the sort, players have been limited to two personas by default, as you know them, character cards. As VIP increases, gold will be awarded three, and towards the end, in Ather VIP and Ender VIP, four will be awarded. Some further limitations have been added, such as name switching and persona switching, as due to the fact once the Professions plugin comes out, skills and XP will be linked to the persona itself. More on these updates. My Heads and Flower plugin was removed temporarily, and has been replaced with Knockout Plus. Arguably though, mine was painfully more efficient, but hey, who's judging? Besides the admins, and the GMs, and the community- anyway, the plugin can be toggled by GMs for wars as always, and the execution time has been lowered from the initial 4 seconds to 2. Also, chat has been changed to better accommodate the Personas plugin. If you now click on someone's name in chat, their card will be displayed, and if you want to see someone's card remotely, type dash persona view name. Bally, you better put that on the screen right now. Yep, thanks. The Soulstone plugin has also been modified this week. Uh, slot 0 is soon to accommodate racial spawns, yet for now we'll stand overridable, and we do apologize for the wipe that occurred with the Soulstones. Anyhow, finally, to wrap up all the official stated changes, Aether VIP now has access to a plugin called MyPet. Basically, this allows a player to tame and have animals fight for them, and of course if they die they'll respawn on you. Cue the video. And here we have Gregory. That's a sheep, and now it's an evil pink sheep, you know how that goes, and there's Gregory. Good job, boy. I love you, Gregory. Good job. Also, ladies and gents, we'll have a technical live stream hopefully going on either the 5th or 6th of March, Saturday or Sunday accordingly. The link can be found in the description, and I assure you, we'll all have a lot of fun there. Oh, and bonus points go out to whoever counts the total amount of times soon is said in the video. It'll be over 10, I promise. I do believe that just about wraps it Oh, Nope! Breaking news, everyone! Archie, our own Sporadic, has recently posted a topic detailing some horrific duping bugs associated with the shop plugin. As it stands, the dupe bug is fixed. Yes, I've received word it is fixed for the time being. Nevertheless, if you're one of the unsung dupers, now would be the time to turn yourself in. This could mean the difference between a perma ban and a plug-in ban, the second being much more appealable th than the first. 
because of such a number of duped items in game, an item wipe is a real possibility if deemed necessary by the team. Players, of course, will have some input. Also, the tech team, coders and techs alike, will now be taking bug reports sent directly to them as well. If the bug proves game-changing enough, VIP perks and levels may be awarded, providing you haven't exploited it for your own personal benefit, of course. Hey everyone, it's Cowman, and I'll be... um... Potato. That, on the other hand, is just about it. Oh, wait, I forgot the best part. In about four weeks, Technical Team will be changing the dependencies on all of our plugins to be more polite to each other. Our very own Sporadic is modding the very bucket and craft bucket jars we use to perform checks, such as Get World and Get Server, to Please Get World and Please Get Server. We think this will help dramatically to optimize the overall player enjoyment. And do not even get me started on optimizing. <laughs> Everyone, the amount of things that will be gone in 4.0 is staggering. Hell, we might even optimize a few players to test how it affects server TPS, if you get what I'm saying. But what the hell, I need to get back to creating hash maps for the VIP perks I'm coding, it's been the last four days, the runnables are being a bitch, and I'm even going to learn how to suppress packets for the players so if they type a command to disable certain particles... Uh, thanks Arzota for that informative debriefing. Hey, get off your phone! Huh, uh, oh, sorry. Totally paying attention this entire time. <sighs> anyway, our next piece of business is... Well, apparently there's a lot of forum drama over ban reports. Yeah, guys, come on. The forum moderators are lazy. They don't want to deal with your issues. Ah, men. Oh, and the event team wants us to talk about the slime cave and pollution being pumped into the lake in the Dwarven Lands. What? Where's that? Where we live. Where I've been trying to get a druid's attentions for it for the past few weeks. Not important. You're a bad dedicant. Anyway, our last topic is the Creative Cafe. I thought they didn't do that anymore. Well, apparently they're doing it again. Anyway, Zildude won. Good for whoever that is. And the next one's on the April 12th. We're not going to that, right? I don't even know what it is. All right. I think that's our show. Wait, seriously? Like, we talked about nothing. Well, obviously. I mean, Baloo's gremlins are just lazy. Are you talking bad about Qua? Uh, no, n never mind. Anyway, the media team is currently looking for more gremlins so that they can get their information easier. And they need more voice actors, because we suck. Ouch. Oh, and I almost forgot. We're supposed to ask what everyone thinks about the latest knockout plugin, and which death plugin they liked the most. Alright, viewers respond in the comments. I guess that's it. Have fun and happy roleplaying.